All right, guys, another spoiler for the uh, set, upcoming set for set 22. Uh, this one's going to be a little different. I'm going to actually have another deck on the other side just because Fortune Teller Baba does like to peek at the top two cards of your opponent's deck. I kind of want to simulate what it would be like to look at the top to two cards of their decks and change their orders so that you guys kind of know how the uh, the deck can flow uh, in this deck. Uh, in my opinion, this deck is pretty only... It's, very mid, it's a very mid deck. Uh, I don't think it's going to be a very much a tier one deck, but it's fun to play because you can look at your opponent's uh, top two decks and it has like a very interesting chain where uh, you go into the one drop to the two drop to the three drop so we're just going to simulate it and see what happens uh see what the leader what it does is uh, you can switch this card to rest mode draw a card look at the top two cards of your opponent's uh, deck and then place them in the top in any order this allows you to 100% uh, guess what uh, the top card of the deck is uh, so that you can uh, get plus ones using your uh, battle cards. Uh, in order for her to awaken, you'd have to have four cards underneath uh, Fortune Teller Baba's Palace. And uh, when you have that, uh, or if you're at four, five or less life, you can awaken and draw two cards. Um, and when this card is placed into the leader area, you play this uh, Fortune Palace. So you're able to have 49 cards in your deck. So this card says it has barrier. You can't place more than one card with the same character name under this card in your battle area. Uh, this means that if you are to place a bandage, for example, Example, you can't play another bandage underneath it uh, and this is not a uh, once per turn ability whenever you play a Dracula man uh, a sake sound uh, bandage or spike you place a card with the same name as a card uh, that you played on the board underneath it so you can play it from hand or you can play it from the on the deck it doesn't matter as long as you play it, it plays another copy of its name underneath this card uh, and that allows you to uh, essentially awaken uh, when you uh, when you have four cards underneath it uh, but most of the time I think most of the time you're gonna be down to five life and that's how you're gonna awaken and so that's the thing about this leader is that even though you have an alternative way of awakening uh, most likely you're gonna be awakening at five so uh, just an FYI uh, if you do draw uh, copies of the other cards in your hand and you don't have any more in your deck uh, this field spell allows you at least bottom deck that copy and draw cards so it fixes your hand but it also allows you to play the uh, I want to call it the fortune teller baba chain um, or just call it the baba chain for short so we're gonna call it the Baba chain and uh, so if you're uh, if you need the Baba chain to be in the deck uh, you have a way to fix the deck so okay and uh, it looks here we didn't draw any way to put uh, we didn't draw a way for us to play the Dracula man Dracula man is like the most important aspect of the deck so we're gonna actually mulligan our whole hand away because it's very important that we uh, start a final way to start with that card okay so we shuffle one two three so we did draw our, uh, by the looks of it, we did draw our Dracula Man, so we are able to see our chain. And then we're going to take our life out and put it out. Okay, so we have everything ready and set up on the other side. So we're going to do a, the cool thing about going first with this uh, leader is that you're able to draw a card going first. Uh, other leaders, you have to attack to draw, but you can't attack going first. So Baba is able to circumvent that and be able to draw a card and then uh, peek at the top two cards of your opponent's deck. So what we're going to do here is we're going to charge the extra card. Uh, because you do play uh, this Vegito uh, that needs that gets reduced, and you also play Repost in this deck. So we're going to play this uh, in our energy. And then we're going to draw a card and then rest ourselves. And then we're going to be able to peek what our opponent's playing. So here, uh, since there's no way to peep at uh, our opponent's top deck without my, our opponent knowing what it is, uh, we're just going to simulate this as if they didn't know what it was. So on the top of the deck, they have a Beast War in their hand, and we, they have a card that allows them to play the Bestowed Power. Uh, we're going to take out this card because it is more a more powerful card, and we're not really taking it out. We're actually going to put it on the, the, the second card. So we're going to do that. So I'm going to put this on the top, and then put this on the top. Okay. And then now, uh, now that we know what the top card is, we can actually 100% guess what the uh, the card is. So we're going to pay one energy to play our Dracula Man. Dracula Man has an ability where if it's played from your hand or your deck, you can reveal the top of the deck. So since we already know what it is, we're going to declare four, and then we're going to add a Sukuzan to our hand. So Sukuzan is going to be... Uh, it's also important to look through your deck to make sure that you know how many copies of each of the uh, Baba Chains are. So you have four bandages, two Dracula left, um, three spikes and uh, three Sukuzan, so that's pretty good. We're going to add our Sukuzan uh, to our hand, and then we're also going to trigger our uh, Fortune Teller Baba Palace to be able to place the Dracula Man underneath it. So we're uh, the fourth of the way there to help us to alternatively awaken, and then we're going to pass turn. Okay, so on the flip side, we're going to be able to charge. I think we pretty much know what we're going to do. We're going to charge, and we're going to play the pan here. Uh, our pan is going to allow us to look at the top five cards. Uh, looks like we have a piccolo, so we're going to add that piccolo uh, to our hand. 
and then we're going to attack to draw a card. And then uh, we're going to combo away the Dracula Man because by doing so, uh, we're going to make your opponent take a life uh, by doing so. Because it says if it is used in a combo from your battle area, your opponent adds one card from their life to their hand. So that's what you do. Uh, this makes it so that uh, since Baba can attack, pretty much allows her to be able to do damage using this card. And so this is really good for that uh, scenario. So then we're going to Z charge uh, Dracula Man. Our opponent is then going to pass. And then we're going to not take a damage because we comboed out of that attack. Okay. We drew our, our Goku, but we're going to need that for later, so we're going to charge the uh, Shenron. Um, the cool thing about this deck is that it can play this card because it can be come out for 2 energy if you have a uh, yellow extra card in the battle area. You start with a field spell, or you, you start with a field extra card, and this allows you to sp basically play him for 2 energy uh, at later turns in the game. Uh, so he's really good, and we all know that already. Okay, so now that we have 2 energy, we can check the top 2 cards of our opponent's deck. Okay, we see that they have a Focus Barrage and a Piccolo. We're going to put the Focus Barrage on the top, so we're going to put the Piccolo on the the second card. And now that we know that it's a focus barrage uh, and we draw a card, uh, now we can be able to play our Sakazan to be able to initiate our chain. So we're going to do that. Our Sakazan, our Sukazan is going to uh, check the top. Uh, we declare four, and then obviously it's going to be correct. Then we're going to add advantages to our hand. And then we're going to use the Fortune Teller Bob Palace to place the Sukazan in underneath. Okay. So we have two underneath, so we're the halfway there. And then we're going to pay one energy to play our bandages, because bandages can be played if you have two cards underneath Baba's Palace. So this is what I was talking about with the Baba Chain. Uh, from there, you're going to declare the same card, because we already know what it is. It's the four drop uh, focus barrage. And then this is going to allow us to uh, search for our spike. OK, and then after that, we're going to add the uh, bandages underneath the palace. And then we're a third of the way there. I mean, we're three fourths of the way there. And then uh, this card, when it does declare the correct target, uh, it gets plus five. So we were able to add our spike to our hand. Uh, we actually could bottom deck spike here, but spike has this really cool ability to be able to reduce itself uh, down to one energy. And we're going to need that for the next turn. So we're actually going to keep our spike in our hand. And we're actually going to bottom deck to Dracula because we don't need Dracula at this point in the game. So we're going to bottom deck it. And then we're going to draw a card using Baba's Palace. So you have ways to like uh, hand fix in this deck, which is really good. And then we're going to pass here without attacking. Well, we are going to attack, I'm sorry. So we are going to attack with the uh, Sukasan. Uh, this has a really cool ability where it can't be attacked, so it has to be removed by a skill. And then so if it attacks, uh, pretty much your, their opponent is going to be able to charge the pan here so they can play their, uh, just to play their card. Okay, so they charge pan. And then now we're going to attack with 20k at our leader, or their leader. And then they're going to take the damage most likely because that's a lot of damage, or that's a really high stat. So we take the damage here, and then we just pretty much pass. Um, so they're down now at six life, and uh, that's the life that they're going to go down anyways if they are able to uh, play the battle. We're going to pass here, and now is our opponent's turn. They're going to draw a card. Uh, this card is really useless, and they knew they were going to get it because of our peep. Okay, so we charge that. We're going to pay one energy to send the panda off. And then this way we can play our battle at the Red Ribbon Army base. Okay, so we play this card. This card also plays out the uh, Go Gohan as well. So we're going to play the Gohan. Uh, so we're going to play this Gohan. And then we're going to give a pan over to our opponent's side. So now uh, now that our leader is able to awaken, uh, we're actually going to not uh, awaken just yet. We're going to swing, uh, allowing us to draw a card. And now that we have a pan on our opponent's side, we're actually going to awaken on the uh, activate or on the awaken step. Okay, and then we're going to draw two. Okay, awesome. And now we have, uh, we're have we going to be hitting for 15k, which is good. Uh, Baba is most likely going to take the damage, so it is at 8 life. So we're going to take our damage down to 7. Okay, cool. Uh, now this Gohan, uh, when it does come out, it does minus something by 15k. So this Gohan is going to be able to clear the Sukuzan. Okay, so now Gohan can swing at this uh, bandage, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to swing at this bandages. And if they want to combo out to save the attack, they could. Most likely they won't. Uh, most likely we will not, so we're going to let the uh, bandages die. And then we're also going to trigger the draw ability for the Gohan. That allows us to draw a lot. And then we're going to pass, pretty much. Uh, we also can use that one energy to play Bestowed Power. But we're going to play, I believe we're going to play something else. We already have Bestowed Power. So we're going to play uh, this Go Piccolo for one energy. This Piccolo, when it attacks, you get to use a Earthling from your drop area. And then uh, combo with the skills negated, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to play this, attack the Baba, and then we're going to combo the pan to 15k. Okay. 
And then uh, we're obviously going to take that damage because we don't want to lose our card advantage too early. So we take the damage here. They're going to Z charge. Okay, and then uh, they're going to then they're going to pass this back to us. So now they have two battle cards that we have to get rid of. We have a pan on our side, so we can use it. Uh, we're going to charge Baba here because we don't really need her. And then we're going to pay one energy to play the Spike. Because now Spike can be played if there's three or more cards underneath the Baba's Palace. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, from there, we're going to um, we're going to be able to put Spike from the deck underneath the Baba's Palace. And then now Spike can uh, pretty much check the top if it's right. So we're going to be able, before we do that, we're going to Awaken now because now we have the uh, Fulfillment. We're going to draw two. Okay, and then now if we want to go for board control, we're going to have to go after the battle cards here. So we're going to go after the Piccolo here. Yeah, so I forgot to put the uh, Piccolo back to active mode because of the leader ability. So we're going to actually swing at the Gohan here with our uh, Baba. Baba's going to draw us a card here and uh, pretty much look at the top three cards of our opponent's deck. So that's a little better. Uh, so we're going to do that. Okay, so we see a Beast Roar. We don't want them to have that card in their hand, their hand so we're, they're going to get this Gohan instead. Uh, so we're going to put Beast uh, Roar to the bottom. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, now Spike's able to uh, reduce the cost of the Devil Might in the Z deck to be able to play it out and give this guy a plus 5k. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to declare 4, and we're right because we know what it was. And this Devil Might Beam is going to give Spike a plus 5, so we're just going to add this uh, counter on. This Devil Might Beam has this really weird ability where if one of my battle cards gets KO'd or removed, um, then uh, you get to choose one of your opponent's battle card that isn't a Son Goku in his character name and KO it. Oh, I forgot to mention we didn't finish our battle, so they're going to we're gonna swing here, and then they're gonna probably counter out uh, or block. We're just gonna block with the Piccolo here, so the Piccolo's gonna die here. And then uh, now the spikes around, we can actually go after the Gohan still. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go after the Gohan for board control. Uh, they're gonna say no combo, let it die. Uh, we're gonna pay the one energy to play Baba. This Baba allows us to search for the extra card. And then uh, we can actually just use it for zero to look at the top three cards of our opponent's deck. Uh, but we already know what it is. We're just using it so we can have uh, another extra card in our uh, drop area so that our repost is uh, only one energy. Okay, so then we're most likely going to pass here. Uh, and then, yeah, pretty much we can't really do much uh, aside from anything else. So we're going to pass here. We're going to probably charge this card because we already have a second copy of it in our hand. Okay. Okay. Uh, so now, at this point, uh, we're, we're able to pretty much go pretty uh, ham with this deck. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is gonna, we're going to play uh, Bestowed Power for one energy. So we're going to play him. And then he's going to minus something by 20k. So we're going to minus the, the Baba then, because we don't want to spike to lose itself. So Baba goes sent to the drop. Okay. And now, uh, you can swing with the Piccolo and draw a card. Uh, so what else we'll do, so we're going to swing at the uh, leader for 15, and then uh, they're going to repost because they can. Okay, and then now that attack is negated, uh, from here you're going to draw a card using uh, the leader ability. Okay, and then from there, uh, since the attack's negated, you can just pay one energy to play the piccolo on top. He's going to restand himself, so that's good, and then you're going to draw a card. And then if a Piccolo ever uh, activates his battle skill or removed from play by an opponent's skill, then you can just basically uh, Z awaken. So this is a this is an interesting way. So if you swing with this guy into here by resting, I'm not sure if this comes out in active mode, but I'm guessing it does. You can just rest the um, battle with the Red Ribbon Army, swing at this, and then um, if this ever dies uh, because of uh, if you ever triggered this ability to pop the Piccolo, then what happens is um, the, the leader is able to take life until it goes down to 4 and then play the uh, Z leader on top. So let's pretend they do that. They try to eliminate Spike and then you use the Devil Might Beam to get rid of it. Then Piccolo dies here and then you're going to trigger your Awakening ability. Uh, so that's what you'll do. Take life until you have 4. Uh, you're most likely going to pass with the 1 energy open. So uh, after you pass, you're going to take life till you have 4. They're going to play your 20k leader. And this leader is going to be able to play this card. Okay, so uh, you're going to send the pan off because that's what it does. And now you have a 20k leader that hasn't attacked yet. Uh, most likely you were supposed to swing with this uh, before the end of turn because he comes out at the end of turn. Okay. So he comes out for 20k, and then you basically just pass uh, with nothing to do. 
Okay, Bob's going to draw for turn. Uh, we're going to charge this guy because we're not trying to do other strategies. We're just going to try to play from our what our deck does. Okay, uh, from here we could we could do a lot of things. We could probably play the uh, Goku here uh, for one because if you have four uh, cards underneath the Baba's Palace, it can play itself out for one energy, which is good. And then from there, um, you're going to need to find a way to Z charge one more time. So, uh, because we want to play our Gohan that gets double strike, so that's what we'll do. Um, so we're going to attack with this, I guess. Uh, or maybe we just charge on our opponent's turn when they swung at uh, some of our guys. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to charge this guy uh, so that we have two Z energy. And then uh, we're going to pay the two energy to play the Gohan. Gohan gets reduced to two if you have a uh, Goku with the five cost. That's a childhood and not an ape. Uh, and then also it gives your childhood Goku dual attack. So this has dual attack. We'll put a counter on to indicate that it has dual attack. And then now you have a double striker dual attacker with barrier that removes itself at the end of the turn. And then you have a dual attack uh, 25k attacker for two energy, which is pretty good. Okay, so first things first, we're going to swing with... Uh, well, since we're dealing with the 20k leader now, uh, we're going to be able to swing. We're going to swing with our 25k at the leader. Your opponent could negate with an attack. Uh, you do have this card. I think you could play this for... No, you don't have enough. Um, yeah. We're just going to play Imposing Presence here to reduce the stats down to uh, 10 by 10. So this Goku here is going to be uh, minus 10k for the turn. So it's a 15k, which is good. Uh, it restands itself because it has dual attack. Uh, and then now you have a 15k that you have to combo up, which is kind of tragic. We are going to place these two in the drop area, I forgot. Okay, so now we can just swing with the uh, 25k. And this is going to reduce the stats down to 20k because of the uh, imposing presence. They're probably just going to combo out, or yeah, they're going to combo out because they're at 5 life. And then now we restand, and if we want to swing again with Grandpa Gohan, we have to combo away a card. So. Uh, I guess that's what we'll do. We're going to attack and then combo away the uh, the repost here. Because it's now at 15k. So they're probably going to combo out of that attack. Uh, let's combo out the Goten. We're going to swing to draw a card. And then we're going to look at the top three cards of our opponent's deck. Okay, so we don't want our opponent to draw the um, their super combo. So we're going to put the super combo at the farthest uh, bottom. And then we're actually going to just put the order like this. Where this is first, second, third. So we're going to do this first. Then this. And then this. Okay, and then from there we're going to leave ourselves with two energy open, which is good. Um, so this way we can play our uh, spike later on. We could play it now, but we'll have to tap out, and that's not, really not a good idea, especially with yellow. So we're going to keep this open, and then he's going to go away. Uh, this goes to C charge. He's going to go away at the end of the turn, so that's, what, that's what's going to happen. Now it's their turn again. Uh, we do have three of the Beast Hans here, so are the Beast Roars, so that's we're going to capitalize on that to try to end the game as quickly as possible. All right, first things first, we're going to attack with our leader to draw a card. And then we're going to swing into the uh, opponent's uh, battle card, or leader. Uh, then from there, we're probably going to take the damage here at this point, but we don't even have a repost as well, so we're going to be in a very interesting situation. So we're going to take the damage, go to 5. Uh, they have a fortune teller Baba, which is okay. Uh, the, we, they knew that they were going to draw these two cards for turn, but they don't know if they're going to draw the super combo. They could draw the super combo if a Piccolo attacks or a Sun Gohan attacks. Yeah, so we're going to play a second copy of this so that we're able to uh, get our chain off. Okay, and then we're going to send one to the drop area, and then this way we can play our Goku Gohan from our deck. And then play another pan on their side. So now we're, we're just going to swing with this guy. Uh, we could minus a pan, but we're going to use our pan to our advantage. Uh, so we swing with this guy to 15. Um, well, since they played a battle card, they're most likely, you're most likely going to play the Vegito counterplay here for one. And he's also a blocker. So I think this card will be uh, negated or killed by uh, the Gohan. So we're going to do that. Okay, so they can't swing unless they uh, rest a card. Uh, I like Again, I don't know if these cards come into active mode or not. Uh, I'm not sure what the rules are, especially since it's not another class of card. So we're going to pretend these cards, are, these cards are in active mode so that we can swing with, the, with them for free. Uh, so yeah, we swing, attack, rest one of these cards, I guess, um, and then... They have to combo out of that attack, uh, which they won't. They, we're going to take a damage. So we're in deep trouble. Uh, this card also allows us to play Bestowed Power. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to EX Evolve, restand the Gohan. 
and then draw a card, and then play the bestowed power from the deck. And then once bestowed power gets uh, played from the deck, you can actually just use this ability to bottom deck a uh, card from her hand. So we'll bottom deck a uh, Beast Roar. We have a lot of Beast Roars in our hand. And then we're going to search for uh, the Piccolo. Okay. So we did that. Piccolo goes to our hand. So now we have a 20k base stat attack. Uh, I think we forgot to draw a card using uh, when we swung. No, we don't need a... We can't draw. Okay. So we have the Gohan and we have the Piccolo, which is good. Uh, from here, we can attack with the Gohan again for 20. Uh, resting our... Uh, a battle with the Red Rim Army. Okay, and then we still don't have blockers, so we're going to take the damage again because this is 20k. We could super combo out of this. We're actually going to use this card, Power of Super Saiyan, to uh, rest the Piccolo and then draw a card. Okay, and then we're going to combo out of this uh, with the super combo. I'm going to bottom deck our unison here, draw two. Okay, and then that combos out of the attack. So we'll Z charge this. So now we're going to Z, uh, EX Evolve uh, the Piccolo. So that's what we'll do. Uh, draw a card. Okay, and then we're going to attack with the Piccolo because now able to attack and then you just rest uh, the last the last one. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, you just basically take the damage because it's too much to take. It's only a single striker, right? Yeah, it's a single striker. Okay, from here, we're just going to pass. Okay, we're going to charge this card just to have our second Baba in. So we're going to go for the double strike dual attack line with the Grandpa Gohan. I'm going to send these two off. That's going to give our Goku dual attack. The cool thing about this uh, card is every time it attacks, you can reveal the top card of uh, my opponent's deck. And then so what we're going to do is we're going to attack with this first. Add leader, I guess. Draw a card. We could give him this card, uh, but it will give him 20k power. I don't like that. So what we're going to do is put this to the bottom and then put this on the top. So we're going to put this on the top, top. And then 6 will be the number we would call. Okay, so we're going to attack with that, 15k, and then we're going to have to combo up if we want to attack over the 20k. I swear, 20k leaders are really good in this uh, in this game. Uh, we're supposed to restand the Piccolo, so we're going to do that. Uh, then we're going to attack the leader, and then we're not going to combo because it's a 20k. Uh, okay, so now we're going to swing with our Goku at our uh, opponent's leader. So then this is going to trigger the ability. We're going to call 6 to clear the uh, Gohan. Because it's in rest mode. We stand him because he's dual attack. We can also play this card, so let's just do that to neg something by 20k. Uh, we'll neg the Grandpa Gohan by 20k. Uh, so this is in active mode now. Uh, so now we have to find a way to rest this guy because he's now in active mode. Um, he's hitting for 25k, so I guess he can block that attack. Yeah, he can just block the attack. And then he dies. Okay, attack again for 20, call 6 again. There's nothing in rest mode. We're just going to take the damage, I think. Yeah, we're just going to take the damage. Okay, it turns not over yet. Um, we do have a, a Grandpa Gohan with barriers, so this was never supposed to lose any counters. So, the Grandpa Gohan can actually swing dual attack for 25k, and this is going to be pretty scary, but we do have Imposing Presence, I believe, to reduce the stats. So we're going to discard a red card. So now that's a 15k, which is good. So it loses the dual attack. Well, it does have dual attack, but it'll lose it. Okay, they're not going to combo up. That's good. So we pretty much pass their turn again, unless they want to swing with something else. Uh, they could play the spike here for one energy. So I'll play the spike here. Call six again, and then this is going to be able to play our Devil Might Beam. So that's what we'll do. Play the Devil Might Beam. Okay, so the Devil Might Beam uh, gives spike uh, 5k, so we're going to swing again. Uh, now that goes down to five. Uh, we could block the attack, and I think that's what we'll do. No, we don't have to, because it's the same stats. So then we're going to combo away uh, a Gohan, I guess, since we don't need that. And then we're going to Z-charge this. And then they pass because they can't do anything else. Okay, we draw for turn now. Then now we can just play this guy for one energy, which is good. We're going to charge the pan here. Uh, it's pretty late for us to start winning the game, but it's fine. Uh, because we do have this card still to pr prevent our opponent from activating, like, uh, Freeze's army reinforcement to block. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to pay two energy to play our Beast Han now. Uh, we can play this if we have uh, four more energy, which we do. We can choose one of their battle cards and minus it by 30. So we're going to kill... If we kill anything, the Devil Might will actually kill us. So we're not going to do anything. <laughs> and we're going to uh, just swing. Yeah, we're going to swing for 30k at our, the leader. They don't have any blockers. And so they're going to... Yeah, this is really tragic because we didn't draw any more uh, negations. 
So it's going to hit for 30k. We're going to have to take the damage here because that's the limitations of the deck. Okay, and then uh, Gohan restands himself and then uh, hit again for 30. Okay, so again, that's 30k. That's going to be a lot. Um, at this point in time, since we don't have a negate, uh, they're probably going to use the uh, ability of the special beam cannon. And then this is going to be hitting for 45k. It ha also has a double strike. Okay, so this is hitting for double strike uh, 45k. Um, and then we don't have to use our super combo, so it's pretty much game here. Uh, unless they have final flash. So we're going to respect final flash here uh, because they have that one energy open. Even though they we know that they don't have it. Okay, so it's going to be hitting for 45, so we're going to have to combo away a lot of cards without super combo. So combo out of that attack. Z charge one of the cards. And now uh, they still have two life left. Um, we could play another special beam cannon, so that's what we're going to do. Uh, because this attack right here is going to be double strike, and then we want to be able to clear it. So, okay, we're going to swing in and then pretty much end the game. <laughs> so, yeah, the game just ended because, yeah. So, we pay the one energy here to uh, send this off to the removed, and this gets uh, 40k double strike. So, that's pretty good. And uh, 40k is good enough. Uh, you don't have to worry about flash because it only affects battle cards. Okay, so the, they take the damage and they lose. Okay. So yeah, that was the game for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video in particular. Uh, I think it's really weird that they... This deck is missing something. I don't know what it is. I think it's missing a way to like uh, use this card for free. Use this activate battle for free or like recycle the... Um, just find a way to recycle these guys after you use the activate battle because it seems like a desperate maneuver to do so. Uh, but this deck is definitely missing something. Hopefully the tournament promos will be released and announced to make this card better. But as of now, uh, the deck is pretty mid. I don't think it's that good. Uh, going to 5 energy with leaving yourself with a spike uh, dual attack. Maybe it was better. It would be better if it wasn't imposing presence. Uh, there was a turn where I had this guy out with the Goku out. There was a turn where I could have done a lot of damage with these two out, but the imposing presence being able to uh, make uh, them lose 5k every time they swing was really degenerative, so that I couldn't be able to attack uh, to the full extent. On top of that, there was no super combos that I drew. Uh, I drew one Krillin super combo, but I didn't draw anything else, and I didn't have any more negation. So uh, maybe it's the deck list. Uh, I'll never know, uh, because this is not a deck that I would play in the future. Uh, but if you guys want to play this deck, uh, by all means, uh, do so. It is a yellow deck, and, so, and it is using the fortune teller mechanic to be able to look at the top uh, three cards or two cards. Um, but I don't see that being useful because you can't bottom deck the card, so you can't prevent your opponent from adding the secret rare to their hand or a super combo to their hand because you can't bottom deck it. The only card that bottom decks in this deck is this card, and it only bottom decks one card. So you get to look at the top of their deck and bottom deck it. So if you see that they have an SCR on the, uh, coming up, you can just bottom deck it with this card. So I didn't play this deck to the full extent. Uh, I was just pretty much just showcasing it. Um, to just show you guys what the deck is, could be, how the deck could be played uh, in the future. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.